Hello and welcome to CEO Speak. In this episode of CEO Speak, we have with us Mr. Faisal Faruqi, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Mouthshot.com. Welcome, Faisal. Thank you. Welcome Thank you, Jawad. Thank you, Jawad. Welcome to the show. It's nice having you here. Thank you for Faisal, having me. Faisal, we are talking about Mouthshot.com. The name itself sounds very unique, a very different kind of a name. So, you know, could you tell us how exactly you landed up with such a name? And what is the object in keeping such a name, you know, for a .com? Right. Well, well the, the whole goal of Mouthshot.com is to allow people to express their opinions on products and services. Mm -hmm. So it's a platform on the internet where people from all over the world, and especially India, come on and write their opinions on any product or service that's available in the country. Mm -hmm. We wanted a very bold name because consumers in India, especially for long, have kept their mouths shut. You know, they've not had the opportunity to speak or give their feedback. Nobody was there to, uh, to understand them. So here, we have decided that with such a small but bold word, mm -hmm. mouthshut.com, consumers are going to declare that we are not going to keep our mouth shuts anymore. Okay. Besides, it's a very easy name to recall. And when, once you're on the internet, I think you really don't have time to think about spellings, etc. So mouth shut is very easy to spell. It has a great recall value. And it has this intrinsic rhetoric value which everybody wants to ask why mouth shut so nobody will ever forget <laughs> I think that's that's one of the main premise why mouth shut.com the bold and easy to recall mm -hmm. well when we talk about the reviews the kind of product reviews that we have on mouth shut.com what are the different areas what are the various sectors that you generally cover and you know which are the other areas and what are the kind of reviews like is it from the customers themselves or how exactly does it work right mouth shut.com totally believes in empowerment of consumers. Mm -hmm. And we believe that empowerment of consumers can come when consumers start talking to each other. So we have a platform where consumers write their own independent, mm -hmm. honest, and unbiased review. If you've used this phone, we want you to come on Mouthshot and tell the whole world what you think about this phone. Mm -hmm. We don't want expert reviews. So we don't believe much of really doesn't believe in expert reviews. We want end consumer opinions. We want end consumer experiences. Mm -hmm. For that matter, you know, taking, taking that to a level where not just phones, but 67,000 other products and services in this country mm -hmm. that are sold in this country or available in this country can be reviewed. Mm -hmm. So you have anything from movies, music, cell phones, airline seats, travel destination, anything that's available in this country can be reviewed. And these are end consumer opinions. It's people mm -hmm. like you and I who okay. are contributing to mouthshed.com. Mm -hmm. When we are talking about you know, dot com, there was a time when the market was flooded with so many dot coms, many big players, small players, players of off size or various sizes were there in the market. But now we are seeing that many players are still not there. You know, Only a few of them have remained in the market. So what exactly has been your feedback and what are exactly has been your strategy in order to see to the dot com boom? We started, we started in early 2000 and that was a very crucial period because most dot coms were shutting down. Mm -hmm. People had written off dot coms. The few that were surviving were almost predicted to, to die very soon. Mm -hmm. So what we did was before we started our venture, we did our homework very well. We analyzed, we studied in detail a lot of companies that had shut down. Mm -hmm. And we found out what they had done. We avoided those mistakes. For example, mouth shut, we really didn't spend a whole lot of money on marketing. Okay. We didn't spend, you know, we didn't spend any money on, on fancy front page, full page of Times of India or other news publication. We didn't go for TV or Hoarding mm -hmm. X advertisement because we believe that marketing, you know, every money that you spend on marketing initially is going to be very valuable to sustain the company. So mm -hmm. we avoided all that. Our whole business, our whole website became popular based on the word of mouth, mm -hmm. word of mouth recommendations. So you were recommending if you knew about mouth chat, the whole, the whole concept of mm -hmm. end consumer reviews was so powerful, so unique that people started referring mouth chat to their friends and their, to their relatives. So we didn't really have to do any marketing. Mm -hmm. Besides that, I think we only, we hired people when we really needed them. Okay. We didn't really hire, you know, one, a team. We didn't really build a team of 100 people from day one. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, a lot of dot coms did that. When they had funds, they built huge teams. A lot of times, people were not doing anything. They didn't have work, but you were still paying them salaries. Mm -hmm. At Mouthshed, we avoided all that, and we started 
hiring people only when we really needed them. Okay. So how was it started? You know, how was it conceptualized when you started Marshall.com in early 2000? So how exactly actually, did the idea struck you? Know? I, I, actually, I was working in U.S. This was right after I graduated from college in New York. And I was working on an idea that I, you know, that I was nurturing in my mind ever since I was in college. Because when you're in college and, and let's say you do an assignment, mm -hmm. you write a project report or something like that, you ask your friends to review it. You, mm -hmm. ask, you basically ask your friends to give you feedback. Then you make changes in your, in, in your written stuff. And then it becomes better mm -hmm. before you submit it to the teacher or somebody. What we did was we, we said, OK, we're going to apply the same concept to products and services. Here, if feedback can help me in one class, in one class assignment, I think feedback can really help consumers if okay. they're done on a very large level. So I was nurturing this idea when I was still working at a company called American Management Systems in, in Fairfax in Virginia. And one fine day I said, you know, I got to go back. I got to go back to India. You know, I got to do something really in India. Uh, most of my family was in U.S. at that time. They still are. Uh, so I knew that if I take their permission or if I discuss with them, they will never approve. You know, six years ago, five years ago, very few people were returning. Very few people were returning uh, to India if they have a good job, mm -hmm. they have an American degree, etc. I, I took a flight. I just packed up my suitcase. I came and landed here in Bombay. Only then did I tell them that I'm in India. Mm -hmm. So it was basically all about coming back home and contributing to, mm -hmm. to a place where you've grown up. Okay. So what are the reviews like? You know, when you are talking about reviews of a particular product of a particular thing, so how exactly does it work? You know, what are the reviews like, and what is the maximum or the minimum number of reviews that you have generally received? We receive reviews on almost everything that's mm -hmm. sold in this country. I mean, we have thousands and thousands of reviews on movies, mm -hmm. music. We have reviews on cell phones. We have reviews on hotels, restaurants. We have reviews on airlines, travel destination, airports. Mm -hmm. We have reviews on watches, clocks. We have reviews on wines, you know, beer. We have reviews on almost everything that you can imagine. There are people mm -hmm. who are passionate about sharing their experiences. And, and we don't want everybody to write reviews about everything. Okay. We want you to write reviews that you are passionate about a topic or, or a product that you really know about a thing that really interests you. So I may know a lot about cell phones, and I may write cell phone reviews because I use cell phones every few months. I change my cell phones. You know a lot about media. You may write mm -hmm. about magazines that you read. You know, your interest lies in newspapers. You may write about newspapers. Your interest lies, you know, you're a, you're a travel buff, you travel a lot, so you may write about travel destination. Mm -hmm. We believe that everybody is an expert at this. Finally, finally, we'll be taking a short break here, and then we'll talk more about the kind of reviews that people generally write to mouthshot.com. To stay with us, we'll be back with after a short break. Welcome back to CEO Speak. We are talking to Faisal Farooq, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Mouthshot.com. Faisal, we are talking about the reviews, you know, what are the reviews like and for which product, for what product, or for what is the kind of thing, you know, that when you get the maximum number of reviews like and maybe the minimum number of reviews, which is the most liked topic wherein people generally like to write the reviews? I think, you know, mouth shut definitely is a microcosm of, of India. It's, it's an Indian website mm -hmm. and we believe that most of our users, or at least 70% of our users, are from India. So Bollywood, movies, music okay. is very, very popular. I mean, there are tons and tons of reviews on movies, music, which people have watched, people have listened to songs, and then they are expressing themselves. So for instance, if there is a release today, uh, 2 o'clock, if the movie is released, by 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, there will be a review on that movie. And people can decide. So if, s if somebody wants to decide on a weekend, whether I should go and watch this movie or not, you can come to Mouth Shut okay. and you can find out what people who have watched it on Friday are okay. thinking about this movie. Uh, so Bollywood is very popular, airline, airlines are very popular, banks are very popular, okay. music, mm, cell phones are very popular, mm -hmm. travel destinations are very popular. You have 117 such categories mm -hmm. and I would say um, most of them are extremely popular because in India we have opinions about everything. Okay. 
But don't you think the reviews can be manipulated in some way or the other? Do you, is there some kind of a checkup or is there some kind of a system wherein you can actually check the kind of reviews that has been entering because you know a new product can always be manipulated by the company in some way or the other. So maybe do you think you have some kind of a system to check that thing? No, what we've done is we we deliberately avoid interfering in the reviews. We okay. don't have any editorial intervention in the review. We promise the consumer, you express yourself, and we will publish the reviews as is. So what we've done is, however, we've, we've allowed other consumers to rate the usefulness of the review. Okay. So if I write a review as a member of mouthshit.com, you, Jawahar, will come, and you will read my review, okay. and you will decide the usefulness of the review. Mm -hmm. Let's say I write a review on XYZ cell phone, and I'm saying this is the best cell phone in the world, etc., 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 and you know that this is not a good cell phone because you've used it. Okay. Then you'll say my re my review was not used. So you can always contradict the review. Also. Exactly. So okay. you can and you can start arguing with the the reviewer. Okay. You can start. So let's say Faisal has written a review mm -hmm. on X Y Z cell phone, and the cell phone is really not good. Okay. But he's giving it a five star rating, and he's mm -hmm. he's giving a rosy he, he's painting a rosy picture about it. Jawahar and other members will come and they'll say not useful review. Okay. So basically, what's happening is the reputation that I was building online, mm -hmm. it's, it, it acts like a community. Right. You know, Macho becomes a community. Thousands and thousands of members coming. Then, you know, they start building social bonds. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to build my reputation by writing review. And my reputation is affected if I write bad reviews or biased reviews. And okay. people are very smart, so they mm -hmm. will make my review as not useful. Mm -hmm. And it's not just one person. Hundreds of people will come and read that review and say not useful. Okay. Uh, on the other side, you know, in extreme cases, we have an alert system. Mm -hmm. So if there are too many reviews on a product okay. appearing in one day, or too many good or bad reviews on a product appearing in one day, then we have an alert mm -hmm. system. Somebody in our back office is alerted, and they go and read individual reviews. And then yes. they try and contact those people, verifying if they are mm -hmm. genuine members of com or some employees of some company that's trying to promote the product. But that's very rare. I would okay. say like 0.0001% okay. of the times you've had such a case. Usually consumers themselves mm -hmm. take care of the biased reviews. So how is the membership like? You know, suppose I want to read a review or maybe I want to write a review. So what is the membership like and how many members do you have right now? You, you can come to Mouthshut and you can, you can register for free. It's a very simple registration mm -hmm. form. You know, it will take you two minutes to register, and you can read, write, rate. Mm -hmm. uh, we also allow people to tell us more about themselves, so you can upload your picture. You can tell us about your hobbies, your interests, okay. so that when people read the reviews you've written, they can also know your background. Okay. They can also identify with you. So if you're writing, you know, if you're good at cell phone reviews, you, sh you know, we want people to write that, that, you know, I'm a cell phone lover, I love cell phones, mm -hmm. uh, I've worked for this company, okay. or I work for that company. Uh, on, on, a, on an inherent level, I think Mouthshed is a very social networking site with a consumer focus. Okay. So, by the way, when you are talking about free membership, you are not charging anything from the customers, you are not asking them to pay anything. So, how exactly is the revenue model right now? With most of the bigger dot com, all the other companies phasing out or maybe, you know, lost in the race. I have been there for quite some time, it's almost 5-6 years now. And how exactly are you? sustaining basically what is the kind of revenue model that you have as i said uh, initially initially we when we started we avoided the mistakes that large dot coms mm -hmm. made you know, especially when it comes to spending however the revenue model that we have is not just based on traditional advertising or online advertising which most dot coms had initially planned for for their revenue model we have a variety of revenue streams you know, there are a lot of companies who are interested in our technology, mm -hmm. who want to know how this whole thing works, and they want to know how MouthChat can help their products and services. They want to use our technology, so we license our technology to them. That's a revenue model for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some, we have good amount of money coming from Google Ads. We are serving Google okay. Ads based on the review content. We have money coming from subscriptions, so mm -hmm. we, what we do is we allow other newspapers, magazines to use our content. They might want to publish that in their newspapers or magazines. So we have mm -hmm. some subscription or content syndication as you might want to call it. And we have uh, revenues flowing in from 
market research, panel studies. Companies want to launch new products and services. Since we are the number one consumer destination in, in the country, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to information about consumers, companies approach us. They want to do market research. They want to test launch of a product or service. They want to contact 500 customers for their product. And we help them mm -hmm. you know, attain their goal. We help them reach out to the customers. Okay. So we have a very healthy mix of offline and online revenue models. And mm -hmm. because our, our costs are not very significant, right. I think we are able to sustain ourselves. Mm -hmm. So what are the expansion plans right now with maybe you will be singing? We want to reach out to every Indian out there okay. you know, who wants to express himself or herself on any product or service. At the same time, we want to, I, I think Mouthshed is a very unique platform originating out of India. We want to take this global. Okay. You know, we, we want them to appreciate the strong Indianness of this at the same time, mm -hmm. a very sophisticated technology platform that can be replicated in any country. Okay. So we're looking to expand in Europe, we're looking to expand in the Middle East, mm -hmm. and we're looking definitely looking for the right people to help us reach to these markets. Okay. First, we'll be taking one more break here and then we'll talk more about the other expansion plans that you have and how exactly is the dot-com market shaping up. To stay with us, we'll be taking a short break. We'll be back in a short moment. Welcome back to CEO Speak. We are talking to Mr. Faisal Farooq, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Mouthshot.com. Faisal, we are talking about the kind of expansion plans that you have for Mouthshot. So, when you are talking about expansion plans, who are the people who generally maybe read the reviews or write the reviews? You know, maybe who is the audience? Who are the people who are generally interested in knowing the reviews? Maybe venting out their own ideas. So, who are the people you know who plan to target out who are being I, I, people. Th that's a great question because Mouthshed wants everybody to come okay. onto the site and express themselves. It's consumers like you and I mm -hmm. that buy products and services, that use products and services every day. And at times we get a very good deal, at times we don't get a good deal, we get a very raw deal. So we want to know how was your experience with that mm -hmm. product. So essentially every consumer can visit mouthshit.com and express okay. himself or herself on any product and service that they've used, they've purchased, or they've mm -hmm. experienced. So when you would have started, why do you think, suppose I'm, I have already bought a product, how, or maybe why do you think that I would like to review, or maybe, you know, if I want to review, I'll just uh, tell to the people who are asking me, suppose you are asking me something about a product, I'll tell you like, okay, this is a product like this, and this is the thing, this is the good and the bad thing about it. So why do you think I will write to review or maybe you know take the pain in writing the whole thing and maybe letting the whole world know? Basically, how do you think you know this? Could it's be it's pure it's pure altruism. It's pure helping helping others in return of an expectation that someday you might want to know about some product or service, okay. and you will get help from others because we believe Mouthshed believes that people by nature are very good, mm -hmm. and I think most. Most people in this world are very good, and they help others, you know, out of out of pure love or pure concern to better the society. Okay. So if I write a review on, let's say, a Nokia 9500, mm -hmm. I'm doing it because I'm saying, here's my review. It might help somebody in making a decision whether to buy this phone or not. Okay. Because tomorrow, let's say I want to review on whether I should fly Air India or whether I should fly Emirates or for that matter any other airline, then I should know based on mouth shed what people are saying. Mm -hmm. So if I'm helping, somebody else is helping me because they are writing reviews on airlines and I might not be an expert on, on airline reviews. Okay. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking altruism but at the same time the reciprocity which we have, mm -hmm. you know, I'm writing in, in an expectation in the hope that someday you will write. Okay. So it's A equal, you know, A is helping B. It's not like B is helping A in return. A is helping B, chances are C is helping A in return. Okay. And then, you know, you have thousands and thousands of people, so this chain continues, mm -hmm. and that's how Mouthshut keeps evolving. Mm -hmm. 
So how was it started? You know, when you started Mautsun.com, maybe the first few weeks or first few months of its operations. Yeah. How many people actually came to know about it, or was it you know like how exactly? The whole what thing what we started? did, we, we did a lot of homework before we started. So mm -hmm. we we built the technology mm -hmm. and we kept the systems in place and everything. Then we invited friends and family members, people who we knew, mm -hmm. to write their experiences on products and services. Okay. And then they, s they started recommending to their friends and family. So the whole word of mouth, I think within one or two months, mm -hmm. people started noticing what mouth shit is all about. And because the concept was unique, because the concept was very empowering, mm -hmm. more and more people started registering on mouth shit. And then they started okay. building sort of like their hangout place on, my, on the internet. Okay. So, you know, whenever they had the time, whenever they came online, they would mouth shut. A lot of times they shared reviews, they wrote reviews on products and services. A lot of times they came and they read reviews on products mm -hmm. and services. Okay. Uh, sometimes they would rate and, and comment and 